hear the word of the Lord. But tonight, as we look around this room, the Church of God in Christ this year celebrates 110 years of incredible ministry all over the world, now 87 foreign countries. And as we stand in this position tonight, I'm reminded that AIM just did not start. The summer convention concept did not just start. For a number of years, there was an international youth congress and separate conventions, and then UNAC. I stand on the shoulders of men like Bishop Roy L. H. Winbush, men like Bishop F. E. Perry, Bishop Jerry Macklin, Bishop J. Drew Shear. And there's so many unsung heroes who have served the church and are serving the church. And what they do behind the scenes is so necessary and essential to our success. And tonight we wanted to take a few moments just to celebrate a couple of individuals that we're presenting the 2017 Labor of Love Awards for Excellence in Ministry. I'm going to ask that Bishop Talbot Swan if he would come at this time and he's going to share information regarding these individuals and we're going to celebrate them tonight. Will you receive Bishop Talbot Swan as he comes? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let's celebrate our AIM Chairman, Superintendent Dillard. Certainly we honor our presiding bishop and members of the general board. Thank God for this opportunity to celebrate and honor those who have labored. Surely the scripture declares that God will not forget our labor of love. First recipient is Dr. Valerie Daniels Carter. Supervisor of the Kenya East Africa Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Dr. Valerie Daniels Carter is president and CEO of V&J Foods Holding Company. It is a multi-brand, multi-state operation. It is the largest female-owned franchise organization in the nation. And that deserves a hand clap. It is an achievement that bespeaks to her unyielding belief and connection to God, coupled with her rare commitment to honesty and hard work. Dr. Carter graduated from Lincoln University with a bachelor's degree in business administration in 1984. She earned a master's degree in business management from Cardinal Strick University. She received an honorary doctor of humane letters from Cardinal Strick University in 2008 and Lincoln University in 2016. Supervisor Carter is one of the most preeminent business owners in the United States. And she's been widely recognized for her adroit business ingenuity, and as such, she's been befittingly appointed to a dizzying array of financial and corporate boards. Dr. Daniels Carter is currently a board member of the Green Bay Packers, a minority owner of the Milwaukee Bucks basketball team. In May of 2017, she was elected chair of Automobile Association of America, a 57 million member organization. Supervisor Carter is an outstanding life coach, a generous humanitarian. Her business accomplishments have only been matched by her ph philanthropic efforts. This CEO stays grounded by engaging in local and international philanthropic projects. On the campus of her church, Holy Redeemer, she along with the rest of her family opened a 160,000 square foot center that houses a Boys and Girls Club, Family Service Center, two schools, loan center, medical facility, a community meeting facility, better known as the Mother Catherine Daniels Youth Center, developed in memory of her mother and husband. She has been the catalyst to the opening of three orphanages in Kenya and Ghana, Africa. And last year, under her leadership, Kenya East Africa Department of Women constructed and opened the first Church of God in Christ hospital in Africa. To date, the Department of Women in her jurisdiction has been instrumental in putting 78 women in business. Dr. Daniels Carter has served the National Church in various capacities. She was the Regional Minister of Music for the Midwest Regional Music Conference for 30 years. And during the initial years of the transition of the Holy Convocation, from Memphis to St. Louis, she chaired the business's development team, put in place proper protocol for that quadrennial. She served as the CFO for the AIM convention for over 20 years with both Bishop 
Jerry Macklin and Bishop J. Drew Sheard. Under her administration and directives, AIM was instrumental in donating over $1.5 million to the national church budget. We celebrate this visionary leader on tonight. And to receive this honor in her stead is her brother, general board member and secretary of the general board, the Bishop Cedric Daniels. Come on, let's give a rousing applause for Dr. Valerie Daniels Carter. One more round of applause. Our next award recipient is no stranger. He is the Bishop Roy Dixon. I'm going to ask Bishop Dixon to make his way here. Bishop Dixon accepted the Lord as his personal Savior at the age of 12, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost in Toomsboro, Georgia. As a young man, he was very active in the church received many accolades in church and in school for public speaking and demonstrating acting talents. He was the president and valedictorian of a senior high school class and he graduated with honors. He majored in liberal arts and business administration at the University of Connecticut, Los Angeles City College and the University of California at Los Angeles. In 1973, Bishop Dixon answered God's call to the ministry and was ordained by the late Bishop S.M. Crouch. At the same time he was ordained, he was also assigned to Pastor Val Verde Church in the Saugus Newhall area near Magic Mountain. During the mid-1960s, he became an entrepreneur and owned and operated a number of Dixon Burger restaurants. A serious car accident and extended recuperation caused the collapse of that chain, but he then began working for Taco Bell Corporation in increasingly responsible positions. When he was transferred to San Diego, he served as area trainer and national area manager. In 1978, restauranteur Dixon franchised his first Taco Bell restaurant in Ote Mesa with the help of two partners and at one time owned 12 franchises. Elder Dixon and his family joined the Greater Jackson Memorial Church of God in Christ, where he served the late Bishop J.A. Blake Sr as administrative assistant and church administrator. In 1985, he was led to establish Faith Chapel Church of God in Christ. That December, he met with 20 individuals in corporate offices and they agreed that they too felt the call of God to join this new endeavor. Faith Chapel grew from the initial 20 members to a very diverse and talented group of worshipers. They quickly acquired land and built an edifice at 499 Holly Drive, a 12,000 square foot facility, which helped to revitalize its surrounding community. Approximately 1,500 members graced the new facility, which also housed a charter school and was involved in various community programs. In April 2000, the presiding bishop, the general board of the Church of God in Christ, consecrated Bishop Dixon as the prelate of the Southern California Fourth Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. He believes that God blesses us according for us to be a blessing to others. A very brief summary of some of his many community and civic activities include a board member of the San Diego Organizing Project, the Pacific Institute of Community Organizations, the California and San Diego Restaurant Association, all congregations together commissioner and hearing officer. He also served as the convention planner the Auxiliaries in Ministry Summer Convention. He's been married to his lovely wife for over 40 years. They have wonderful children and grandchildren. We celebrate tonight the Bishop Roy Dixon.
want to indulge you. Can you stand to your feet and help me celebrate Supervisor Valerie Daniels Carter and Bishop Roy Dixon? Let's celebrate their labor of love and involvement in the Church of God in Christ and even the AIM Convention. God bless you. As you heard mentioned for a number of years, Dr. Carter served as the CFO of the AIM Convention and Bishop Dixon as the convention planner. And today we stand on the shoulders of these individuals. Too many times people come on the scene and act as if things just got started when they got there. But we recognize and realize that God has laid a tremendous foundation for us to build upon and a great legacy to continue in the church of God in Christ, the greatest church in the world. Anybody agree with me on that? Come on, clap your hands one more time.